Hey guys, so uh, I've just updated my Z3 Compact to the official Android 5.1.1 update. Uh, I wanted to do a quick little video here checking it out to see what the main uh, changes are on the uh, actual device. And I have been looking forward to this update for the Z3 Compact, a very fast uh, and uh, fluid device here which no doubt will benefit from the increased optimizations of Android 5.1. Uh, you can see that we do have some new features here, uh, apparently according to Sony, which uh, gives us more control over the uh, notifications and the volumes. Uh, so we can see that here, uh, if we have a look, we can see we do get uh, quite a nice intricate control there uh, of the uh, notifications as well as volumes. Uh, you can see if we go around to the bottom here, uh, we can see we can get even more kind of options here, allow exceptions. I don't remember seeing these before. And uh, if we go into the exceptions, you can see uh, that we can uh, customize when we want it to be in silent mode, which is very nice. Uh, also, uh, we do get some more control over the notifications. I don't have any at the moment, but. Uh, apparently that uh, is uh, included on this as well which is quite nice uh, strangely enough I do have this applying theme uh, thing here which I can't seem to get rid of actually uh, which is uh, weird but you know maybe it's just some sort of uh, glitch or something that they'll fix uh, other than that we do get uh, enhanced LinkedIn support uh, which is obviously the app uh, that you can download here from the Play Store. Uh, so that uh, is uh, allowing you to sync your uh, well, Lincoln Park. Uh, it allows you to sync your calendar events from uh, your phone to LinkedIn, which uh, can be quite good if you are into uh, your networking, etc. Uh, I don't actually have an account, so I can't really show you that working, but. Sony does say that it is a lot easier now to sync contacts in the calendar with that, which is quite nice. Other areas which have been improved on the uh, Android 5.1.1 have been the uh, camera. Uh, in fact, actually, I should actually show you the settings first. You can see uh, the settings look a little bit different here. Uh, you can see the icons uh, look a little bit more grown up, some would say. Uh, they look uh, a little bit different to how they did before. Uh, we can see that the actual layout though is quite similar to how it's always been. Uh, you can see in here the official information, Android 5.1.1 and the build number as well for those of you who are interested. Uh, so that's ending 546 and uh, if we go back here I was going to show you the actual camera uh, here because Sony say that they've done some uh, optimization so that it shoots a little bit faster uh, in the superior auto mode which is good uh, and uh, also uh, in low light conditions it should be a little bit better uh, you can just have a look here if we can see any uh, major difference uh, with this with my Z2 so it doesn't look uh, amazingly different whoa can we get some sound on so you can see here it's just nice and quick as usual uh, I don't know the actual speed the older software ran. This seems to load a bit quicker though, which is nice. Uh, we can just check out the button as well. So that seems to be quite quick as well, which is good. So I might do a camera comparison uh, with this phone to see if there is an improvement uh, if anyone's interested but other than that there are some other uh, features that have come on here as well such as something called uh, is it Android Wear or something 
uh, smartware integration so uh, you can actually integrate with uh, like a smartwatch uh, you can like use your smartwatch to snap selfies apparently I don't have a smartwatch because I'm not really that taken by these sort of things yet I think they do need a bit more development before I jump on board but interesting to know if you do have a smartwatch you can take selfies now using that and uh, also some sort of business feature for enterprise users uh, so I think uh, in general uh, the update here does feel very nice and quick nevertheless I mean the, the Z3 Compact is a fantastically fast device anyway uh, when it comes to the speed so you know well is that loading anything here I'm saying it's fast and it's not actually loading anything that's weird hopefully we not found a bug here <laughs> that would be bad so I don't know what's going on here with this album let's try that again maybe I stopped it before it loaded who knows very peculiar here uh, but uh, let's see if the video is working so the video works fine music works fine, it's just the album, something weird there uh, what about the multi-user, check that so this seems to be working as it should be So uh, that's okay, which is good to know. And we can go back to me and have a look at the multitasking. Wakey, wakey. Have I killed the phone? Whoa. <laughs> Maybe I'm going too fast for it here. But that's why we like to do these reviews to see how stable it is. Uh, I think I'm just probably going a bit too fast for it, but you can see it does work here, which is nice. No new smart apps, it doesn't seem. And we do have this panel still. So, uh, yeah, I think those are the main features that have uh, come on. As you can see, it does look uh, like uh, there's some interesting updates here. Uh, maybe uh, Sony will push out a subsequent update for the stability, not really sure. Uh, oh, it's working now, that's good. <laughs> a little bit random there with the gallery, but maybe just a one-off. Uh, but yeah, this has just been a quick little video of Android 5.1.1 official for your Z3 Compact. Hope you did enjoy, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.